So I've got this Node.js API I've written. It's, it's a template, CRUD REST API. It's written in TypeScript. And that's the repository URL down the bottom here. And I want to set up CI CD for it. So I'm going to use GitLab for that. So, but what I'm going to do, what I've already done in the meantime is put it behind an Nginx proxy with uh, the root going to a static HTML and slash API going, being proxied to the node API. And that gets built using Docker Compose. They have their own Docker files and the GitLab CI will automatically deploy that by using GitLab Runner. Let's look at that another way. There's a GitHub repository. That's the URL there. And I'll have four branches, dev, UAT, staging, production. I'll mirror that on GitLab, where it will manage the deployment pipelines. And what I'll do is I'll go out and I'll get a, an Ubuntu server, and I can use any of these providers here. I'll use DigitalOcean. And that, I will install GitLab Runner on that, and that will listen to a particular branch. I'll set up UAT, so any changes to the UAT branch will be pushed to this server, and this just means I can set it up for other, one for staging production or even two productions, as many as I like. I'm just going to do the first one, UAT. This is the project. Um, there's some N Nginx with its own Docker file. There's Node JS in here, and that's this Docker file. And there's the Docker Compose for Nginx and Node.js and there's GitLab CI with uh, some stages, develop, UAT, staging and production. I'll do UAT now. So first I'll create the branches. So git branch UAT, uh, git branch staging and git branch production okay I'm in the dev branch right now okay so the next part is I'll set up GitLab mirroring okay so this is my github repository and now I'm going to mirror that in GitLab so if I go to GitLab here new project on the right I've got CI CD for external repo I'm going to click that from GitHub. I'm going to uh, find the one which is down here, TypeScript Node.js. I'm going to connect to that. Excellent. We'll wait for that to go green. Okay, done. Let's uh, check it out. Okay, it says it's mirrored from GitHub. That's really very good. I'm going to go out and get an Ubuntu server now and put, I'm going to get it from DigitalOcean, I'm going to put GitLab Runner on it. And this will be for the UAT branch. Let's do that. I'm in DigitalOcean. I'm going to create a new droplet. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to use the cheapest one, $5 a month. Scroll down, I'm going to use Amsterdam. Now I'm going to call it UAT. Excellent, create. Excellent, so that's the IP address. I'm going to copy that. Okay, so that's the IP address. I'm just going to call that UAT. I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to open that up. Excellent. Now, DigitalOcean has sent me a password in my email. I'm just going to get that. Okay, so I've got the password. Login. Okay, so I've logged in. Now wants me to change the password. So current password, new password. Okay, so now I'm logged on to my uh, Ubuntu server. I'm going to install GitLab Runner. Okay, so we'll do that. We have to register the package. Okay, that's done. We now install GitLab Runner. Once. We will now 
register the runner like that. Now it wants the coordinator URL. Okay, so to get that, go into GitLab for the project and we go down to here to settings, CI CD, runners, expand. I'm going to disable shared runners. That's another story, another video. And I'm going to set up a specific runner. Okay, some of the information I'm showing you, you can get from this URL here, but I'm just doing it. Anyway, so I'm going to copy that. That's the coordinator. Now it wants the CI token. This is the CI token. The description, I'm going to call it uh, my UAT server. The tag, I'm going to call UAT. And I'm going to use the shell executor. Excellent. Other things we'll need to do is we'll need to give it permissions to execute. Otherwise, it won't be able to install the Docker Compose or we'll run the Docker Compose. So, what we'll do here is we'll nano etc sudo was. Okay. Scroll down and we add a new line. GitLab runner, all no password all. Okay, control X to save, yes. Now we have another problem which often occurs is that the Git, when the Docker composer is running, it can't actually find Docker. So how I fix that is I actually install it in now. sudo apt install docker.io, excellent. Excellent. Okay, so what I've just done is I've done this. I've installed GitLab Runner on Ubuntu on a DigitalOcean server and it's looking at a UAT branch. How does it know it's a UAT branch? GitLab CIYML have told it here in one of my deployment steps here to only look at UAT and that means the UAT branch and it's got a tag UAT as well, just for consistency. So let's have a look. I have my project and I have made it, it's all happy. I'm now going to move it over to the UAT branch. So git branch, uh, git check out UAT. All right, git merge. Dev Radio Git Push. Uh, not to do that because I haven't pushed yet to UAT. Excellent. Okay, so that's going off to UAT. Go to my uh, GitHub. We should now have a new UAT. There we go. UAT. Have a UAT branch. If I go to CICD, so if I go to GitLab, where it's mirroring GitHub, there is a UAT. Excellent. So if I go down to CICD pipelines down here, it's now running the UAT pipeline. Look at that. Running. Let's have a look at it. Step UAT. It's just doing all its things, installing, set up. You can read all of that for yourself, which is great about these pipelines. Okay, so that's succeeded. So that's the IP address that DigitalOcean gave me. I now have that set up for UAT, that UAT branch I just pushed to will now be hosted. Yeah, let's have a look. There we go. That's the static HTML I've got being served for my Nginx static folder. There it is. Node.js, let's look at slash API now. Okay, that's the Node.js API. Let's have a look at cats. Excellent, there's some data. Now let's look at swagger. 
they also set that up as well. There we go, there's the Swagger, docu Swagger UI documentation I've got set up in it, in the Node API. Now if you test this out, just be sure to select that server, because we're running it through Docker Compose and Nginx. Cats, let's try it out. Execute. There we go, that's a response from the API. Okay, so this is what I've done. I've, so I've put that Node.js inside Nginx, inside Docker Compose, and I'm deploying using GitLab CIYML to a Docker, sorry, to an Ubuntu server on DigitalOcean. And I did that all in that video. I can do the same thing with staging and production now too. I'll now set up a GitLab runner for staging. And go to uh, DigitalOcean, create a new droplet. Going to use a cheap one again. There we go. Uh, Amsterdam. I'm going to call it staging. Create. That's done. Now I'll just wait for the IP address. Okay, you get the uh, point. That's what I've done. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.